on Pets.TV for our second annual Canine Countdown. We're introducing you to the 10 most popular dog breeds in America. Now here's a clue. Some of the top dog breeds are big, some are small, and all are adorable. Plus, I know which powerful dog pushed his way into the top 10 spot. Oh, by knocking out the sweet Shih Tzu. And can you guess the breed that's had the longest reign as the number one most popular dog in America? That's who's at number one again this year. That's all right here, starting right now on Pets.TV's Canine Countdown for 2011. Each year, the AKC, or American Kennel Club, a registry for pedigreed dogs, compiles a list of breeds in order of their popularity. And today, Pets.TV is bringing you its second annual Canine Countdown, introducing you to the top 10. Find out what these top dogs are so excited after, and where your first friend ranks on the popularity list. Here they are. Our number 10 most popular breed is truly a rising star. It's the Rottweiler. Uh, Rotties and Rots. Rottweilers, that's a long name, so they've abbreviated it. It's been climbing the charts for a decade. But then, trekking long distances is what the Rottweilers were bred to do. Uh, the name came from Rottweil, Germany. The dogs go way back in ancient times. The Romans used the dogs for uh, guarding their cattle. So they would guard their cattle and, uh, and the troops while they were traveling. And one of the stops along the way was Rockwell, Germany. And so the tale of a dog named after a city was born. Michael Burns has been devoted to Rottweilers since 1989. He raises puppies at the Von Haas Burns Champion Rottweilers in Southern California. Nothing cuter than a Rottweiler puppy. We agree. They're too cute. Little wonder he calls this place Rotty Heaven. Come on. Come on. Good boys, yeah. The thing about Rottweilers and that breed of dogs is people are looking for a little more manly dog or a massive dog that can offer a little more protection factor. The Rottweiler's size and strength may be what helped to crack the top 10. Of course, that means one dog had to get bumped off the list. I'm sorry, Shih Tzu. You're cute, but not cute enough. They're a great family dog. You know, they are protective of their family, so they will guard the family, of course, but they're very socialized, too. Rottweilers making the top ten is no small surprise, since they don't have a reputation for being exactly warm and cuddly. They are dogs that were originally were developed as a herding dog. They were developed to bite cows in the back leg to get them moving in different directions. There's a dog that requires some caution because of what they were bred for and what their potential is. But since Rotties don't chase cows around these days, any bad reputation is the fault of a bad breeder, says Michael. The dog got a bad rap, uh, you know, throughout the years of irresponsible breeders, uh, breeding dogs with bad temperaments. All of our dogs are temperament tested before they're bred. If they have a bad temperament, we use them for something else, like police work or, or to guard. You guys are best buddies. So uh, you can socialize these dogs with any animals. Uh, she loves this cat and thinks it's uh, her puppy. I can see why at number 10, the Rottweiler has become part of the list of America's most popular dogs. Because people are impressed with their size and stature, their often um, friendly personality, and their ability to interact with life. Uh, they're just a good all-around dog. They can be used for working, for show, for pets, you know, whatever you want to put through the dog, it's capable of doing it.